going for free and all this time. Let's um, see how we do. Don't really practice the fast ones. Let's just go here and it's captured. Let's go there. Looks like he's not wanting to take. Let's just bring this attack in the pawn. All but use, usual this stuff. And last but not least, let's come here and get the knight out. Let's attack the king. Let's take. So support for the bishop, put a check on, capture, no oh, he's not going for that, interesting times, let's take, and last but not least his king is home alone, which is lovely, let's go here with the rook. See what we've got, see if it does take or not. Doesn't take, let's open this up. Let's just give the king a little touch. Let's give it another touch. Okay, that's interesting. So now he might try and get the rook here. Long pause, that means we're in trouble. Some magic's coming out now. Okay, I really wanted that rook there. I thought he might have brought his rook here, then we'd have been able to get the other rook. But that could happen because if we take with the bishop and the rook takes, then we can get his rook off the board. I think that's the plan. Let's take. So we can get this rook off and we're on his knight. His knight can't move, obviously, can't. It's not blocked. Um, but he's not done that, so we'll just take with a check. And is there a finish? I don't know. He's got these loose pawns here. I don't really like that. Let's come round the back and see if we can double up on him. And get his rook off the board. Oh, shh. Lovely.